Okay, so you know the basics of putting in one slide already. If you don't, go back uh, and do that and then come back here. Um, as you see, we've already talked about setting up a little Starry Night scene and then having a picture of the Duomo and then a picture of Giordano Bruno. But here's the thing. The planetarium is not just a PowerPoint place. If you're just going to do one slide after the next, after the next, just do a PowerPoint. There's no use in using the dome, right? So we need to use that dome effectively. You've got a 360 degree by 180 degree canvas, okay? You don't want to use the back stuff, but you do have a lot of real estate in the front. So we need to use the dome to our advantage. And I want to show you one easy way to do that. All right, so I'm going to go up here past the next one here. Notice how I set up my uh, screen here. So I have ATM4 on the left, my render box view on the right. Now, uh, let's say I want to put in a couple pictures. Let's say, um, I don't know, let's insert uh, some new tracks. Now, on this, for if, if there are any Cydome users here with, you know, like the professional, you actually have the Cydome, you're not one of the learners in my class doing this, you can actually just drag these all in very quickly and do that. Sorry, kiddos. We don't have that ability on this laptop. That could be coming soon. But for now, let's add the track and add a Starry Night track. Um, I don't know, let's call this one. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do the Museo Galileo. I'm going to do Museo 01. And let's do another one. Add track, Starry Night, Museo 2. And let's do insert add track and starry nine let's do museo 03 okay so right now i know that i'm going to put three pictures in here and i don't know let's pick three good pictures to put up at the same time right let's see so double click museo one do you remember which one it is slide with the e okay and remember to click live so you can see it Click the slide. Now I'm going to scroll through here. Let's pick a. Let's pick three good ones from the museum, from the Galileo Museum. Uh, I'm going to do extra large icons so I can see them. Uh, let's see. Ooh, there we go. We've got the front of the museum with the sundial. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, I want it to take about two seconds to show up and let's see live i don't see it let me change the size maybe it'll show up or change there it is change the altitude oop now that one i need to roll again so i'm gonna roll to seven. Oh, there we go all right now i think that should be a bit bigger that's pretty good uh maybe make it a little bit lower just so it's like right on the edge there cool all right we've got museo the Galileo transition time of two seconds. Cool. Now let's say I want it to just, I want a new one to automatically pop up a few seconds later. Museo 2. Notice I didn't put a kill slide or kill cue in there. So I'm going to do another slide and I'm going to click live. Let's see what's a good one. Oh yeah, there he is. There's Galileo. Let's see. I think that's, uh, that's the best picture of him. Okay. And let's see, altitude to get it up there a little bit. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's twisted as well. Uh, so I'm going to roll him 270 degrees. I'm going to make him bigger. I'm going to move his azimuth. Let's put him on, let's put him on this side. Let's bring him down a bit. Okay. Cool. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, oh, I forgot the transition time of two seconds just to make him fade in. And then I'm going to do one last slide. Here we go. This is my favorite one. Okay. Where is it? Oh, this. You will be amazed at this. Yeah, that one. Okay. Transition time of two seconds. 
and I'm going to make it bigger. Let's change the azimuth. Oh, it's flipped over again. Okay, flipped. That's funny, you'll see why in a second. Roll, this one is 270. It's usually either 270 or 180. And I'm going to raise that up a bit. And let's move it just a little bit more to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is Galileo's middle finger. It's in a museum in Florence, Italy. Okay, that is kind of weird, okay? Uh, but it's also kind of cool, but also weird, okay? Um, and it's encased in like three different things of glass, which is why it's hard to get a good picture. But anyway, transition time of two seconds. All right, so what does this look like? All right, watch this. I'm going to go back to here. Now I'm going to hit Control K, which will kill all those slides. If you're ever playing around in here, hit Control K, and that will get you to kill all the slides so you can see what happens next. All right, so let's see what happens next. I'm going to hit play and watch. Oh, there pops Galileo Museum. There's Galileo. And there's his middle finger. All right. Fantastic. Now, okay, that's cool. So we have them automatically pop up. You can also put pauses in between there so that you can sort of click on it and then the next one will pop up. But the nice thing about this why do we do this? Well, this way you can sort of show the museum itself, Galileo and his finger. You can show all of them at once. So you let the audience be able to ruminate on whatever thing their brain is looking at um, and really let them guide the, uh, the learning there while you're talking. It gives them a little bit more to think about. And honestly, it just looks better when you have more than one picture. Now you don't want to go crazy and have 12 pictures at once, except maybe in, in at the right time. If you remember Jordan's show probably has eight or nine or 10 pictures all at once, but it's when he's listing a bunch of things very quickly that is in a military person's pack, right? That makes sense. It does not make sense here. You don't want to overload, but you also don't make it just one picture at a time. The last part of this is the cleanup here, right? So let's say after that last slide, I'm going to put a pause in and I'm going to say, talk about Galileo's middle finger. Okay. And so it pauses there. And let's say I want to get into some new stuff next. Here's what I can do. You can now, assuming there's no slide that you want still on there, you can then go to Starry Night and do kill all slides and hit two seconds. So what's going to happen there? Well, let's go back to where we want to test. Hit Control K to kill all the slides. Let's see what happens. Oops. Going to hit play. All right. We've got our first slide. We've got our second slide, our third slide. Boom. I'm talking about it. Blah, blah, blah. And then they all fade away. Okay. All right, that is it for this. Um, uh, basically, I'm going to have you look into slide transitions soon. I only showed you one type of transition, which is the fade in and the fade out. It's basic, no big deal. We're going to talk more about that later. But what I want you to do now in your um, script and in your show is I want you to pull, get all your pictures in here in ATM4, get them in order, get them in there, and make sure that you're artistically putting them together so that they are not just a slideshow, okay? Make them actually work with the story, put two, three, four at a time up there, and just do the best you can with that, okay? Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, happy ATM4ing. <laughs>